Okay, Scorebug fans, now it's time for a demonstration of our uh, penalty clock addition to our Scorebug, uh, hopefully for this week or the week after. Uh, so we've got our uh, Scorebug up here. We better get her running so it'll hit the uh, Korg uh, MIDI controller. Um, time is progressing. Uh, no, first period. Exciting game here. Cumberland has a big lead over the Cornwall Colts. 8-2. to two. Uh, Mr. Loney's uh, arm goes up, whistle blows, play stops at the 17-18 uh, mark in the third period. Uh, penalty to the Cornwall Colts. Uh, Tanner Spink is getting two minutes. So we'll put up the first penalty clock for the uh, uh, Cornwall Colts. And uh, we better zero that because we don't want his penalty getting over too quickly. And uh, face off uh, just outside the Colts blue line. Puck gets dropped. Note our score bug main clock uh, starts the countdown at 17.14. And the penalty to uh, Tanner Spink is counting down. It's at 1.50. So uh, Cumberland's on a power play. Oh, Mr. Loney is uh, on a bit of a rampage. Whistle blows again. Oh, it looks like another penalty to the Colts. It's to uh, Vilna this time. So uh, Mr. Vilna is getting a, uh, a two-minute penalty. So, uh, of course, his time is uh, set for zero, which is really two minutes. Uh, puck gets dropped. And uh, there we go. Our main score buck clock is now down to 16.56. Uh, Spinks penalty is down to 136, and uh, Vilma's penalty is to 147. And things are progressing really well here, except Cumberland's not really taking advantage of this power play. Whistle blows again. Oh, Sweeney this time makes the call, and this is against the Cumberland Giraffes. Martin Freshet is getting a uh, two minute penalty. So, uh, We'll put a clock up for him. Better zero that clock before they drop the puck. And uh, face off so deep in the Cornwall end, just to the right of Liam LaSalle. And uh, puck gets dropped. Main score bug clock is counting down. Um, Spinks penalty, one for the Colts, is down to uh, minute 12. Bill Nose is down to a minute 29. And over on the right hand side, uh, Martin Frechette's penalty for Cumberland is at 144. Offsides. Pause. All four stop, uh, clocks stop. Three penalty clocks and our main score button. Buck gets dropped. Penalty is good. Oh, there's a little uh, hit into the board. So whistle goes. And oh, another penalty to the grass. It's uh, Sean Cameron's getting the... Uh, being sent to the sin bin. So uh, Mr. Cameron is going. We better get his uh, clock to zero. And uh, puck gets dropped. And there we have uh, our main scorebook clock, 1607, and our four penalty clocks all working in sync. And that's what we were out to demonstrate, uh, the overlaying of four different penalty clocks all at different times and uh, we can take them off as they go if the uh, Sphinx penalty is winding down and so uh, we can just take him off there as his penalty expires um, Colts have a power play and therefore uh, Frechette's penalty is uh, as killed as this uh, ends and we're still running out the time on our two other penalties. So you can see we have reasonably good control of four different penalty clocks.